Hello beautiful people and hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to Ebi Bell's Lives. I <laughs> hope you guys are fine. So I'm back again with another video. And this video, I think I'll go, I'm going to make it into two parts. I think this video is going to be in two parts. I decided to make this video because uh, one, I saw a, a video on is it YouTube or I said Instagram, but I'm, I'm not sure it's TikTok because I don't seldom use TikTok. But it was like a lady went to do her pedicure. And you know when you sit in the massage chair, like the, the chair where you have like the water, I don't know how you call it, it's a pedicure chair or the massage chair, or whatever, but it massages you while you, you soak your feet in water and the nail stylist or the yeah, the nail stylist when like when the nail stylist was about to like do the nails of the girl, he was like closing the nose streets and I was like, What's happening? And why do you think he was closing the nostrils? Because the girls down there was smelly. So this is summer. We need to really try to take care of our personal hygiene before going out there. Because uh, if our personal hygiene is not good, we don't only inconvenience our the ourselves like. It's not about us, it's about the people around us because, you know, sometimes these smells, they really give um, headaches, <laughs> you know. Sometimes when you're in a place where you're so stuffy, you get headaches and it's really not good for your cognitive and maybe your performance. So I'm trying, what I'm just trying to say is like we need to take care of our personal hygiene. It's summer, so it's so hot right now. So we need to take care of our personal hygiene. So the video today is like some tips for us to always be intact. Now, you know, sometimes it's normal when you go to the gym, you go, you exercise, you can have some body, maybe some other, that one is normal. You can get sweaty and you, have, you can have other. But if it's a consistent thing, if it's like an everyday thing, then that's, a problem means you 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 have a problem with your personal hygiene so the first tip I just want to say because I want to concentrate down there for today and I will like the next video I don't want this video to be long the next video I'm going to uh, maybe do <clears throat> what's happening I'm going to talk about other tips but today we are concentrating down there so the first tip is always have a wife always have wives and uh, normally there's some there's some toilets you can just have like the tissue if you don't have wipes always try to use tissues or oh, sorry tissue to clean up some girls don't know like after peeing you need to clean up some just clean up just pee and put on your panties yeah I thought it was before but nowadays some girls you do that and when you do like that you have like um, drops of pee on your pant and when you have the drops of pee what does it do it gives you a smell it smells it retains that like your pant and some of you don't wear cotton underwear so it keeps it, it keeps that smell when you sit somewhere people perceive it so always try to use wipes or tissue if you don't if you cannot afford wet wipes you can always use tissue and when you're cleaning up always clean from front to back don't clean from back to front why we say so because when you clean from back to front especially uh, for those who frequent like their <laughs> digestive system is active so they're always in the toilet to poop so when you poop and you don't clean it very well, you carry the particles and bring it to your V area or to your, I don't want to like call the name, but you know, you bring it to your V area, which is really not good because it carry bacteria from there and those bacteria to get stuck or can affect your V area. And when it sticks there, it also gives smell. That's why sometimes when you use the toilet, somebody can just, a lady can enter the toilet just to pee. But when you get into the toilet, it smells so bad 
Do you understand? And so most people don't even know they smell. But I think if when I smell, I know I smell. So I don't understand why some people are so ignorant about that. So what I'm just trying to say, clean from front, front to back when you pee. And if you if if you have the means to always wash down there when you pee and another point i'm just going to link to this one is always try to wash down the after sex yes after sex is always good to wash down there or if you cannot wash down there always wipe don't sleep with that semen on your body because those things they cause bacteria infections and they cause smell when you have those bacteria in bacteria infections it causes smell down down there so always try to wash after sex or you clean with wet wipes or with tissue still but uh sometimes tissue they leave the little particles which in turn get into your v which is still is really not good to for it so it's always good to maybe wipe or use wet wipes or wash after sex it's always good and another thing i was I, I learned back then it was like always try to pee after sex yeah always try to pee when you pee it also releases that cement from your body yeah except you're trying to get pregnant but if you're not trying to get pregnant always try to pee clean with wet wipes if you don't have wet wipes tissue is still okay though it's not very good or you wash it down there yeah so that's the other tips then i want to tell you guys something that many of you are feeling avoid using these store v washes those things are really i don't know like i think it's just for marketing because most of them are perfume 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 they have perfume in it or perfumated or perfumated whatever so they have perfume perfumes in it which are not good for your v area it's not good for your v so avoid using these things when i was in china if a nurse i had a nurse whom she really made me to understand many things about these things if she wants to tell you to use a wash it must be like a medicated wash yeah medicated wash maybe because maybe you have itch itches after using the toilet or maybe you have a complication or you have any problems down there she can give you a medicated wash and she can tell you like after that you can keep using this for some time but stop it so if you if you want to really understand this talk to many gynecologists or people who deal with women like women and yeah women and children because that lady was dealing with women and children so i got that advice from her i for like how many years now i don't use the feminine washes let me call it very well because that's how they they market it feminine washes your down there doesn't need all those perfume perfume stuffs do you understand it 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 plays to like how can i say it um it damages your pH balance down there. That's why some of you have a, a lot of discharges. Why discharges, smelly discharges, all those things. You think those things are helping. Instead, they are worsening the, the they are making it worse. Let me not use some kind of English. I don't know where worsening and like where this English is coming from, but worsen, worsening, whatever. So it making it, it's making it was down there so the, the secret that i would tell you guys that i've been using this is something that many people don't know and the people who know will not even tell you always try to have vinegar yes put vinegar in water and wash down there what i do is i don't do it every day but i try to do it like two three times a week yeah, so the easiest way I do is I put vinegar. I use now apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar or cedar vinegar or ACV, if you don't have apple cider, yeah, ACV. If you don't have it, you can use white vinegar. You can put it in a spray bottle. Yeah, a spray bottle. You dilute it. Don't use pure, like the pure vinegar. Try to dilute it. So I always dilute it and spray i just spray down there then i wash it or well, sometimes i spray leave it for some minute then wash it that's my v or feminine wash i use for years now and it was a chinese nurse that told me this 
so I don't use any feminine wash and I seldom get these itches I seldom get that I don't even get itches yeah let me not say I seldom because I don't get it except I have a problem which that's normal if you have a problem you can get itches you can get discharges you can get odor yeah but I don't get that because I don't tamper with my pH I don't use anything that can tamper with my pH apart from that I use water sometimes warm water sometimes cold water but i take my time to really wash down there always take your time to wash sometimes even use your your scrub to not the scrub the top not like the your vulva what i don't know how to call them don't scrub your cleat just try to scrub behind you your anus yeah you scrub it the frontal part then use pure water now to wash the main part and another thing I would tell ladies is that avoid sending your fingers in your V. Avoid sending your fingers. Some people think like when you're washing, you need to sand clean. No. Avoid sending it. I don't send my fingers inside. Even during that, during sex, really avoid letting men sending their fingers into your down there because most of them have like they don't wash your hands they carry bacteria and send it down there and those bacteria then build they drop it in your v and it builds or it becomes infection and bacteria there and they it causes odors it causes discharges so avoid or let them wash your hands always make sure they wash your hands before sending down there and you to avoid sending your fingers in there if you want to send your fingers make sure it's really clean especially for these girls with very long nails or some of us with very long nails because these nails they inhibit bacteria here and you put them there you transfer it into it which is really really not good yeah then another secret i am not normally i i didn't number them i'm just linking them that's I like to make my video like a storytelling. I don't want to say number one, number two. So another secret is, as a lady, you need to always have pant liners. Yeah, many people like their controversial um, topics about pants liners, but I'll tell you, pants liners are really good as a lady. The problem is maybe you can change it during the day. And why I say pant liners are really good because some of us don't really well or original cotton pants. And when you don't put on original cotton pants, the materials are not really good and they cannot really absorb the sweat, absorb the, so the liquid and everything from our body or the sweat. When you sweat, some cannot really absorb and some really, the materials are smelly. I don't, I don't know how to say, even like there's some, uh, is it nylon or is it poly polyester? I'm not really good with the materials, but there's some materials that are smelly. So they, they, they absorb those things and give you that smell you get frequently from down there. That's why I always recommend people to put on pants liner because pants liner prevent the, your, your pants from touching your V area. So everything from your V the stick to the pants liner which is easier for you to change it frequently than it's uh, uh, sticking or dropping on your underwear or your pants. Yeah, so always have pants liners as a lady. It really helps, especially summer, because you sweat too, to your tights are sweating. So these sweats stick, like it sticks on your underwear. But if you have a pants liner, it's okay. It absorbs it better so pants liners are very important as a lady to always have them yeah another thing is try to get good underwears really if you can get cotton underwears original cotton because there are many underwears that they say they're cotton but truth be told they are not cotton so if you can get original cotton underwear it's so good yeah compared to all this polyester nylons and whatever we are wearing yeah and also know the right underwear for the right clothes. The under the pants, yeah, the panties you put on under jeans shouldn't be the same you put on under dresses. Yeah. So some people just don't know what to wear under dresses. They don't know what to wear under jeans. For jeans, I'll tell you to wear like uh not really don't 
though people advise to wear like the the thong but i always advise you to wear like a v or a bigger underwear in jeans why because most of the jeans we wear are not really original so they remove particles the particles drop out and when they drop out if you're putting on a tongue it's easier to penetrate into your skin or to your v but when you have a bigger underwear it's easier to protect protect those particles from those genes from entering your your v area but one one of my uh kid sisters she always say even in she always say like i need to put on like um I don't know a leggings i don't know how to call it we call it cyclist in my language which is is like um hmm, how can i say a short leggings inside how to say is it bodysuit okay bodysuit always put on a bodysuit under your dresses too especially in summer because it's sweaty your tights are sweating so that's another hygienic tip many people don't know because when you put on those um when your tights are sweating sweat comes order but when you have bodysuit on it absorb absorb the sweat so you don't have that smell and also it helps with like your inner tights during summer most people's inner tights are so dark and it's always like um sticky like uh, sticky together but when you put on those things it helps you to move well friction okay yeah friction you have friction but when you put on that it avoids friction so even in jeans sometimes you can also put on your bodysuit except you like you're putting on a kind of jean that is not a kind of bodysuit that it can, will not show because some jeans you wear them wear bodysuit you see the lines which for fashionistas that's a no 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 so i think you can always put bodysuit under your dresses if you can go with your jeans it's still fine that's another secret that many people don't know so uh, i think uh that's those are one of the the main tips for down there and i'll come now with another tip for up i don't want the video to be so long so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe what's happening to my tongue today my tongue is not given what's happening okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and share give your opinions give you can share your own uh feminine tips down there to avoid odor from down there in the in the comment section below and see you guys in hygiene tips number two video love you guys and mm -mm -mm.